those of you who've worked with me before know that whenever I start a show, uh, as, as, as many people do, I always ask this, the question, why this play, why now? Because I think theater is such a costly endeavor and requires so much of us in terms of our resources and our passion and our energy that before we undertake something like this, we have to ask ourselves, why does this have to be done? And why does this have to be done right now? And always, 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 when you're doing a, a revival of a show that, that people know or that people don't, you're dealing with the expectations that they have knowing the show, knowing the music, knowing past productions, having been in or directed past productions. People bring an awful lot of baggage to every show. And your challenge, always in theater, but especially with revivals of great classics like Jesus Christ Superstar, is to find some way to enable your audience to experience it as if for the first time, to experience it in the present tense. And the reason why we do great plays over and over again and I, I think Jesus Christ Superstar is a great play, is because they ask important questions that we still don't have answers for. And the challenge for us as a production team and a cast is to ask those questions in real time, and to ask those questions as if we don't know the answers. I, I, I promise you that if you look closely at Jesus Christ Superstar, and you look at Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber's text, and it really is a text, I know there's not a lot of talking, but it's a text, you'll see that the story is actually a really sort of kind of familiar and very personal story about two men. It's about two young men uh, who wanted to bring change to their world. They wanted to bring justice where there was injustice. They wanted to bring healing to the sick. They wanted to bring... Uh, uh, they wanted to bring alms to the poor. They wanted to bring love where there was hate. They wanted to lift the yoke of oppression off their people. These were two young men who believed passionately in a cause and believed desperately that the world needed them to recruit others in the cause to try to bring change. And it's a story of how over the course of that movement, these two young men who once were thick as thieves, as alike as two peas in the pod, began to diverge in terms of their understanding of what the movement was and how best to achieve their aims. They didn't ever, either of them, in this telling, lose the desire to bring alms to the poor and healing to the sick and love where there was hate. But they diverged drastically and in the end tragically in understanding how that should be. So we're going to approach the story of Jesus Christ Superstar as a story of those two men and their world and tell a very, very personal, very, very passionate story in as fresh and immediate and intense a way as we can. In hopes in so doing, if we can bring as much truth and as much passion to the story as we can, what may seem like uh, a familiar story with nothing new to bring to it will actually be a brand new and fresh experience for everyone when they come in and sit down and experience it with us. <laughs>